Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fast Web Episode 96. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. Today, I want to address one of the most frequently asked questions I have received since I started driving an EV. How expensive is it to drive a battery electric vehicle in Malaysia? Now, you might think it would be more expensive to drive a BEV compared to an ICE vehicle, especially since Malaysia has the cheapest gasoline in the world. Even some Singaporeans come over to refill and dance together with their car. First, let's discuss the difference between AC and DC charging for BEVs. Alternating current needs to be converted to direct current to charge the battery. AC charging speeds range from 3.7 kW up to 22 kW. On the other hand, DC charging is more straightforward as it directly feeds the battery. This allows for faster charging speed depending on EV's capability. For example, the Arto 3 can charge up to 80 kW using DCFC, while the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 can handle up to 350 kW. In simple terms, AC charging is slower, while the DCFC offers super fast charging. However, it's important to take note that charging with DCFC tend to be more expensive. Now, let's discuss the cost breakdown for driving the BYD Auto 3 for a month and covering 2,176 kilometers. The majority of my charging was done using Charge EV's AC charging station. I subscribed to Charge EV membership for RM240 ringgit per year, which allows me to access free charging at selected locations or receive member discount rate. As for DCFC, it was an optional choice I made out of curiosity, and it can actually be avoided. In total, I have spent RM112.96, which translated to 5 cents per kilometer. Now, if I were still driving the Kia Sportage, it would cost me around RM450 to cover the same distance. By switching to the BYD Auto 3, I have saved RM337 per month or even more if I skip the DCFC charging altogether. Please take note that these figures are based on my personal experience and real-life charging. I was fortunate to have decent 7kW charging facility near my office and at the location I frequently visit where Charge EV was available. Now that I have an electric vehicle supply equipment, also known as home charging station, I can charge my car at home based on the total kilowatt hour usage. This way, I estimate spending around RM150 ringgit for 233 kilowatt hours, including 15% power losses during the charging. This still amounts to 7 cents per kilometer, which is considerably cheaper than you driving a sedan that are fuel efficient like the Honda City or Toyota Vios. I'm sure some of you might be saying that the AC charging is way too slow. Well, you're right. When I'm in the office, I will actually park my car and leave it for charging. Alternatively, I can choose home charging and simply let the car charge overnight. By the time I wake up, it's fully charged, just like how we charge our smartphone. Essentially, having an EVSE is like having a petrol station at home. So what are your thoughts about EV charging costs? Will you consider getting an EV as your next car? Lastly, since I have the BYD Auto 3s, I'd like to know what else you would like to learn about this car. I might consider making a series about it. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you at the next one.